Well, I'm pretty sure. I need the questions. And in this video, we'll discuss the design and testing of a 10 kV silicon carbide MOSFET based H bridge for a power electronics building pump, also known as PET. This impedance measurement unit, or IMU, is capable of characterizing in situ source and load impedances of DC and AC networks. 4160 volts AC, 6000 volts DC, 300 amps, and 2.2 MVA in the frequency range of 0.1 Hz to 1 kHz. The IMU consists of three 5 kV 100 amp power electronics building blocks, known as PEPs, which are universal cells that can be configured in series or parallel to achieve various current voltage and power levels. These PEBs utilize 10 kV, 120 amp silicon carbide MOSFET power modules. The IMU can perform both shunt and series injection modes, both of which are necessary to accurately characterize the source and load side impedances. Shown here is the configuration for the series injection mode, where it can be seen that the PEBs in the IMU are arranged as a cascaded H-bridge multi-level converter. In this mode, the IMU will inject about 5% of the system current. This configuration gives significantly improved characterization of the source output impedance due to the fact that the majority of the perturbation current flows into the source, as a good voltage source will have a low output impedance. In this configuration, the IMU can be used to measure the source output impedance of systems up to 15 MVA. For the series injection mode, the PEBs in the IMU are arranged as modular interleaved single phase converters. In this mode of operation, the IMU will inject approximately 5% of the nominal system line to neutral voltage. Contrary to the shunt current injection mode, the series voltage injection mode gives greatly improved characterization of the load input impedance. In this configuration, the IMU can be used to measure the load input impedance of systems up to 2.2 MVA. So this is the front part of the uh, impedance measurement unit and uh, you can basically see three PEPs connected that could be connected in either series or shunt and then uh, you will see distribution cabinets on the top they contain fuses, bus bars, insulators and there is also a contraption, there is a power converter that serves uh, in the series configuration mode to uh, act as a solid state switch. There is another power converter made, uh, this is not silicon carbide, this is uh, two 3.3 kilovolts uh, anti-series IGBTs that serve uh, as a solid state switch. And then uh, each three of the cabinets are basically bolted together to, uh, to get the IP. Uh, it's obvious that we have uh, inductors and capacitor in, capacitors in each pad. Uh, why so why so many capacitors? The reason is uh, this is measurement, the impedance measurement unit uh, measures impedances in a frequency range from 0.1 Hz to 1 kHz. To go so very low, so low frequency, uh, it is really required to have a big capacitor on the DC link in order to achieve such low frequencies in measurements. And then the doctor is obviously due to the ripple limitation, current ripple limitations. Uh, uh, so on the left side here, is the, the, the terminal section where we connect the load and then the right side of the cabinet is where we connect the source of the system. So if this is an EC2 measurement device. It would measure impedances when the system is running. It's operating at uh, whatever power level and particular operating point where we would like to obtain small signal impedances. Uh, that these are the points where you would connect the source to load. This is the control unit of the infused memory unit. On top of the rack, there are six current amplifiers that are connected to current sensors. They are all put together with the voltage sensors that are connected to the signal conditioning unit here, which does the analog filter. The output of the filters are connected to the TXI computer here that converts to digital signals. There is a real-time PIR run in this computer to gather the phase information. With in between, the box is a controller from the power stage. It sends out all the control signals that generate the phase signal for all the MOSFET in the real power stage. This control box also controls configuration and the sequencing of all the packs during power up and power off. All of these control blocks are connected to 
Ethernet through an Ethernet switch here, then a single connection will be made to the computer running graphical user interface. Thank you very much for watching this video.